they ask whether the weathers of our brains have tasted the global warming of stupidity. They ask why the glaciers of wisdom cannot freeze us away from the addictive adrenaline of danger. But they cannot see that purpose rising like the floods of an hurricane reminds me that 10 years ago boys like me made poetry of festering souls scattering stories we were unworthy to tell that we cannot be the same after the day when our reality was expanded to accommodate boys and girls twined and entwined with terror we negligently misqualified as fate like Italy's pregnant will they are washed ashore with an assassination of plastic in their bellies. These children pour out oceans worth of agonies. They have waited long for angels to descend from the sky since they shared hell with the soul of Sambisa's forest. They forge their nails into strongholds of faith, holding out for answers, knitted in the persistence of a mother's prayer. They shred nights of gloom. With the clause of promise that help is coming. These are the prayers we are drawn to answer. That every child deserves a childhood, deserves the solace of a father's love and the comfort of a mother's embrace. That hope should be a familiar flavor for dreams in a family of self supporting teams. That we, that we too, played a path in restoring dignity to a forgotten quota of humanity. So away from comfort and familiarity, it is tough here. Away from the soft touch of friends and family, we bruise here and sometimes at unexpected pace we bleed here. But when mother calls again tonight, rolling a strand of maternal prayer into my ears, plastering fate over our worries plagued with fears and asking why I stayed where only few might. I hope that history fulfills as fact this truth that feels like an ambush on my tongue that what we did here mattered. What we do here matters. Say love.